Hi, everyone. Um, cool. <laughs> um, so I'm here today to talk a bit about improving onboarding through data and engagement. So I, like Alex said, work at Buffer. Um, just to get some context, anyone in here heard of Buffer? Cool, quite a few. Um, anyone using Buffer of these people? Oh, about the same then. <laughs> anyone here working for Buffer or at Buffer? Yay. <laughs> Cool, so uh, Buffer, if you don't know then, uh, is a social media management tool that helps you connect and organize your social media uh, accounts, also helps you schedule posts, analyze them and collaborate with your team so that you're able to, s to send the right posts to the right social media networks at the right time. So, some quick stats. Uh, we were founded in 2010 by Joel Gascoigne in, in the UK. Uh, we're currently at 10 million in annual recurring revenue. We have 50,000 paying customers, uh, but 3.3 million registered users. Uh, and we all work remotely. Uh, the team, we're 92 people spread across about 20 countries. We, so we have a B2B subscription, as well as a free, free plan and a freemium plan. And the lifetime value of the awesome, the freemium account, is about $116. The business subscription, which range from uh, $100 per month to a few thousand, uh, is $560. So a few key points for today. We're going to look at the last year of exploring, uh, onboarding, engaging, educating your customers and exciting current ex um, experiments that we're running. So what happened was um, why, we why focus on onboarding? Um, basically onboarding we found was, was broken. Uh, not much has happ had happened in almost two years since we launched our business subscription. We also noticed a massive drop off, uh, about 60% dropped off after the first day of trial. We had a very quite low free uh, customer to uh, paying customer conversion rate. And actually, we also found most concerning was that a lot of customers um, churned after their first payment as well. And as I said, uh, the, the product had got quite a lot more complex in the first two years. So exploring. Uh, so it was in September last year that we actually separated the support for our um, business customers. And by doing that, we also realized that about 40% of our um, tickets that we were receiving was from trialists. So we decided it was a great idea to really have a specialized team that would focus on onboarding and provide the best experience for those people. The onboarding team looks after around 1,500 new trialists per week. So through email, calls, uh, demos, uh, as well as lately also webinars. Uh, we also took over the, the, week, uh, the onboarding campaign, uh, which is the email drip campaign that the customers will receive. And we found that to be a great opportunity to work with both the product team as well as the marketing team and share insights and skills. So one of the first like, proper exploration was, I guess, uh, extending our trial, which was seven days. Uh, five days, uh, I would say, and you probably all agree, is not really enough time for a full team to get across quite complex products. So we changed this to, which I believe is the industry standard, which is 30 days. Uh, and we had some really great positive feedback to that uh, as well. And we had some more time to really engage and communicate with our customers. And I guess we can't really pinpoint that this has led to more conversions, but we can definitely say that it's led to more trials being started. So another one, which was also, I guess, initiated by the onboarding team was that we noticed that a lot of our freemium customers converted um, really well. They understood the product uh, already and uh, had a high conversion rate, what we, we, we thought. So we worked with the marketing team on, on creating experiments there where we highlighted the features and advantages of the business subscription. And we actually found that these customers were 10 times more likely to convert than uh, free customers. So we went from about uh, 60 uh, per week to hundreds of uh, trials started each week from uh, awesome customers. So last, uh, in February this year, we also decided then to, to increase pricing, which we hadn't either done in about two years since we launched the subscription. So uh, as I said, a more complex product, so we actually increased pricing with 100%. Um, and that, through being very transparent and working closely with our customer, the onboarding team had quite positive feedback as well and understanding from customers that did ask why this had happened or why we made this decision, basically. Although the, the trial <coughs> conversions uh, decreased from 8 to 5%, this was offset, of course, by higher value per subscription, and the MRR growth rate went up 50%. So, pretty good in the end. So, engaging the customers. Just some stats, so we always try now and, and sort of combine the data with our customer onboarding and happiness teams inside. So about 25% of our customers are, or trialists are active on day seven, 
while it's only 15 are still active on day 30. So that means we really need to engage and communicate during these first seven days. And we also have a few other facts like connecting a team member, 40% of these uh, trialists actually convert. So that's a great one to then also focus on improving, uh, using these specific features in Yak, finding that through data. So using for us, for example, the extension, sending a specific number of posts uh, are, are good stats that we found through the analysts. Just some insights from the onboarding team as well, validating the need for team collaboration. So the team member, but also then another few extra insights like reports is really important, contributions, for social media posts, and also finding out more about the problems and the goals that the, the customers are having, uh, and the need for self-help, which we hadn't really focused on a lot before. So implementing these learnings, for us it's big um, with segmentation. Segmentation uh, for us is like team size, company size, industry, what they're trying to achieve with Buffer. So for example, that impacts our in-app messaging that we have with our customers. The demos that we do, uh, the webinars, the themes of the webinars, email courses such as social media as well as Buffer, uh, and the Drift campaign of course, and also um, basing our content for our learning center based on that. A few other quick facts that we found as well. Um, so actually, you use this to interact with our boarding team, all the happiness team are twice as active as don't the ones that don't, um, and 26% of active users uh, that have talked to our customers have also uh, converted to pay. So finally, uh, educating. Educating, I guess, taking again the, the learnings from um, exploring and engaging, uh, taking that to our uh, la uh, learning center that we launched a few months ago as well. So not just having the plain old FAQ, but actually taking our learnings and adding value. So sharing tips and recommendation of what perhaps have worked for us or some of our clients in videos and articles has been a great success. Buffer for Business 101, which is basically a landing page where if you do want to get set up and don't want to wait for your email or like the drip campaign to come through, you can get set up in, 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 in a half an hour. As well as again, videos and articles that we send out, also of course our blog, email courses. So those are a few, uh, as well as yeah, the webinars of course. So we have both social media webinars as well as onboarding and team member webinars. Existing sort of projects, I guess, in the last few months. <laughs> we've started working quite closely with the growth team and that is great. So we can add, make sure that we're adding value to the or the trialists as well as working on improving the conversion rate. So Max is here, he's the product market, <laughs> product manager for growth and he might be able to tell us how many uh, growth experiments we're running right now in onboarding. So 15? Uh, so yeah, so keep exploring there. So one, I guess, really important one that we just recently started working on and it wasn't until one of our advisor, Hidden Shah, uh, he posted a blog post. <laughs> Actually hadn't written it really. It was based on uh, uh, customer research or testing basically where our onboarding, in-app onboarding, uh, so not the personal one, uh, was rated the lowest. Um, so that was a great <laughs> nudge for us when even our advisor was saying like, you need to improve this. So currently experiment experimenting with more of like a process tracker to validate the need to have a proper in-app onboarding because another one, since we launched the onboarding in-app experience, it was pretty much the same for the free, freemium and business. So a uh, good one there. Uh, we're actually working again <laughs> on changing the trial length. So currently running an experiment for 14 days. And yes, so I believe that's uh, also the fact that it's, it has shown that it's quite important actually to get the customers to, to sign up earlier and get their credit cards in. And webinars. So I mentioned webinars briefly. Uh, we found that about, so compared to 5% conversion rate, 18% uh, conversion rate for any customer that attend a webinar. So we're trying to market those webinars a lot and, and get more uh, uh, sign-ups or attendees. Quick summary, I guess never stop exploring, so keep iterating. Uh, onboarding is super important. We have found that the churn, sort of time of churn, has moved later, so somewhat moving towards the late latter part after, after becoming a paying customer. So churn is, the seed for churn is planted early. Um, you know, want to set your customer up for success as early as possible to get across and realize the added value that they will receive through your product. Data is most useful for us, at least, when we combine it with the customers inside and customer support in teams inside. For us, engaging with the happiness team uh, impacts activation, conversions, and their lifetime value. Also, 
like I said, working with marketing team, uh, product team, growth teams together with support and onboarding has been just amazing for the experience of the team as well as our customers to combine the skills that your team has um, from all different angles has been a great experience. And of course, lastly, uh, tweaking the in-app experience, <laughs> combining that with the personal onboarding. Um, so yeah, keep iterating. And uh, yes, thank you. <laughs> Email me if you want. <laughs>